Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're a small business owner, you're probably juggling a million things at once. That's where Google Workspace comes in. It's not just about email, it's a suite of tools to help you streamline your work, saving you time and money. But with so many different plans available, how do you know which one is the best fit for your business? In this video, we're taking a deep dive into Google Workspace and looking specifically for the options best for small businesses. We'll look at the core apps, explore the different plans, Business Starter, Business Standard and Business Plus and help you figure out which one suits your needs best. We'll also uncover a few hidden gems along the way. Hi, this is Priya from That Online Stuff and I help small business owners with usable and practical advice for their Google Workspace setup. So let's start with the basics. Google Workspace is essentially a collection of cloud-based tools aimed at boosting your business's productivity and teamwork. You're probably familiar with some of the apps already. Gmail for professional email, Calendar for scheduling, Drive for cloud storage, Docs for word processing, Sheets for spreadsheets and Meet for video meetings. What's great about these tools is that they work seamlessly together. Imagine working on a proposal in Docs, pulling in data from a linked sheet and having your whole team commenting and editing in real, life, real time, including via an ad hoc video call. No more emailing files back and forth or merging different versions. It's all right there. This seamless workflow can really cut down on digital friction, freeing up your time to focus on what really matters, running your small business. And, of course, a key feature of all Google Workspace plans is the ability to get a custom email address with your own domain, making you look much more professional from the start. But it doesn't stop there. You also get access to forms for surveys and questionnaires, sites for building basic websites, and Keep for note-taking and reminders. And Apps Script and App Sheet let you create custom workflows with minimal to no coding experience or ability. So let's break down the three business level plans Starter, Standard, and Plus. Business Starter comes with all the core apps the ability to hold 100 participant video meetings and 30 gigabyte of storage per user. It's the most cost effective and useful if you're just getting started. There are similar, some limitations though to the core apps as you can see in this video. Namely, no video recording or noise cancellation options during a video call, along with a missing raft of other nice video features. There's also no e-signature options for documents and PDFs, no appointment booking pages, no email layouts and mail merge ability, and you can't create custom branding for document and form templates. So the next one up is Business Standard, which is actually quite a big step up. Here you get two terabytes of storage per user, which is a huge difference. And this extra space makes it much more suitable for any business dealing with lots of data and media. But it's not just about the storage. Business Standard also unlocks a number of premium features, such as meeting recordings and transcriptions, as well as polling and Q&A, moderation controls, hand raising and breakout rooms. You also get the ability to request e-signatures in Google Docs and PDFs, send approval workflows, create appointment booking pages so external clients can schedule time with you and the ability to charge for those sessions directly through Google Calendar, creating email templates and doing mail mergers inherent within Gmail. You also get Google's AI assisted video creation tool and there's a video on that coming out very soon for me and some additional security features. Now let's look at Business Plus. This is where you get into the more advanced security and compliance features. Perfect if you're scaling up and need these extra protections. You get a whopping five terabytes of storage per user, but the real reason for getting Business Plus if you're not a large business is Google Vault and eDiscovery. Google Vault automatically retains your records so you don't have to scramble to find old emails or documents. eDiscovery helps you search through all your data when you need it for legal or compliance requests. 
So Business Plus is primarily about peace of mind, knowing your data is safe, secure and compliant. It also comes with enhanced meeting options, allowing for up to 500 participants and enhanced management of mo mobile devices. But the most common reasons for getting it is either because of the size of your organisation and or your need for Google Vault. If your organisation is small but still needs this functionality, you can purchase Google Vault separately. Now let's take a look at some hidden gems within Google Workspace. First, there's Google Forms. You might think it's just for quizzes, but you can use it to create customer feedback forms, link them directly to a spreadsheet and get instant insights. You can also create simple order forms for your website. AppSheet is another great add-on that lets you create custom apps without code, streamlining all sorts of business operations. It's like Google Forms on steroids and is available at all three levels of Google Workspace. And for the more tech savvy, there's Apps Script. This allows you to automate repetitive tasks like sending personalised emails or generating reports. There are tons of pre-built scripts and tutorials online, so even though there's a little bit of coding required, you don't need to be a coding wizard to take advantage of it. So with all of that, how do you pick the right plan? Basically, don't get caught up in all the fancy bells and whistles. Focus on your biggest pain points. What's going to make a real difference in your day-to-day -day operations? For example, even if it's only you in your business right now, do you want to accept online bookings with customers or automatically record and transcribe video meetings? If so, then business standard is the option for you. Or if you're a small legal partnership, then you probably still want to get business standard and then purchase Google Vault as an add-on. But if this is a side hustle for you, then business data might be the best option right now. The best way to know what works for you is to take advantage of Google's 14-day free trial for Workspace. Experiment with the different levels. You can upgrade to Plus and downgrade to Starter at any time without any additional cost during the trial. So don't be afraid to try things out and see what you want or don't want. Get more information on Google Workspace, including pricing for your region, starting a free trial and learning resources at workspace.google.com. Choosing the right Google Workspace plan for your business is all about understanding your needs and knowing what's available. I hope this deep dive, short as it has been, has given you a clearer picture of what each plan offers and how you can use Google Workspace to improve your productivity and grow your business. And remember, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more Google Workspace information specifically designed for small business owners.